Hello Capricorn and thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get started for, with your reading. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. Okay, starting off we got the devil and we have the hanged man. Okay, so whatever fears, um, you know, I feel like for Cappies, you guys need to, you got a lot of energy going on in your second house of value systems and worth. And so I do want to say this could have a lot to do with your assets and debts and things like that. But also I feel like for some of you Capricorns, you're in a relationship that you are wanting to get out of and you've been kind of leaving it hanging for a really long time because of your fear. You know, maybe it's your fear of losing out on your finances. It's a fear of, you know, fill in the blank, you know. So if this is a significant other, uh, this could definitely have something to do with, you know, just fear of the boogeyman. All right, Spirit, please show me Capricorn for the week of uh, February. Um, okay, whoa, here we go. February 16th through the 21st. Yeah, it's like you're holding on to the burden willingly uh, and you just need to put it down, okay? It's time for communication to come in. I feel like you are putting your love all in one place. And I feel like, you know, it's like you're trying to persevere. Holy shit, there's a, quite a few people here, okay? Ooh, there it is. All right, so overall energy. Jeez, the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. I can stop the reading right here. It's like, you know, the sun trumps the, the devil, but it's also illuminating and highlighting everything that is wrong in your life. But at the same time, it's trying to take you to new beginnings. I feel like you need to have the strength and courage in order to be able to move forward. You know, I do feel like for some of you, you guys are persevering, but now you have the star. Look at this, the star. Once you are willing, if you're willing to be vulnerable, and you're willing to communicate what needs to be communicated, I'm telling you, you know, get off the fence. You make a decision this week and decide on what it is that you want. You know, with Saturn in your fifth house of true love and romance, passion projects, and children, I do feel like there could be definite em emphasis on, you know, you needing, you basically... You're needing to decide on what is more important to you. And I feel like, you know, and, and let go of what is not. What is the devil here for? Yep, Eight of Cups. There it is. Walking away, destiny. And it has something to do with a family dynamic. So uh, this could be a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, best friend, um, cousin, doesn't matter, sister, brother, parents, I don't care. So when I look at the devil, the devil is here, you know, that's your fears, you know, getting the best of you. The Eight of Cups is all about walking away and and it's destined, you know, it is destined for you to relieve yourself from something that is been long term things that have lasted you know through the test of time but at the same time I just feel like there's not enough loyalty there to be able to continue going down the road that you've been on you've been trying to persevere but I feel like it has brought you a lot of pain and it's brought you a lot of work it's like you are constantly having to work on protecting all the things that you've worked so hard for Capricorn and I do want to say it's time for you to start seeing things from a completely different perspective I feel like you are being enlightened right now by the universe but you need to listen instead of you know you're gonna have to work through your fears you got the eight of pentacles on the nine of wands which is about perseverance not giving up you know fighting for all the things that you've worked so hard for you've got the eight of pentacles you've got the ten of swords and you've got the king of wands i just feel like this king of wands if this is somebody that you're dealing with which i feel like it is i don't feel like this is you i feel like this is somebody that you've been needing to beat off with a stick i feel like this person has gone out of their way to hurt you in the past they're probably i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna say that there is some type of an abusive relationship here i don't usually like to see that in my readings um, i don't want to see that ever but at the same time uh i do have to say that that's what i'm seeing here i do feel like this person definitely is somebody that you are trying to heal from and you've been in limbo about this for a very long time and you know that something here needs to change okay so i do feel like there is some information that came in yeah and this is about justice so you could have very well ended up in a court situation for some of you and i will tell you that this has something to do with your hopes wishes and dreams coming true but also this has to do with children and nostalgia of the past okay cappies 
So I want to say that there's information that's going to come in that could make you very happy. It could be a court proceeding going in your favor uh, with somebody that maybe you've known even this person since childhood as well, but it is here to bring in balance to the situation, okay? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Knight of Cups is the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So maybe there's someone else here that you're dealing with, Capricorn, maybe behind the scenes. This other person doesn't know about it, and I I feel like they're trying to come in very slowly or you want to offer this person your cup of love but at the same time I feel like you're kind of in this limbo it's almost like the two of you guys are sneaking around because you don't know what else to do so it's like you want another relationship you want your happily ever after but you have to be willing to end this third party relationship okay Queen of Swords is the Six of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So the Queen of Swords is somebody, and this could be an attorney, this could be, you know, some some type of, you know, this person is a communicator for, uh, you know, at the le very least, they're all about the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So I do feel like, you know, you're fearing the truth or hoping for the truth, and so I think you're hoping for it so that you can move on into calmer waters. The thing is, is you're still stuck in these choppy waters. You're going towards Carmore Waters, but you still got to, you know, maneuver this first. When you do, you're going into, you know, it's basically an ending and a completion. And for one of your, you know, maybe you're ending a family dynamic. For some of you, this very well could be a divorce. And for others of you, this could have some, I just, I'm getting a court vibe. I'm really getting a court vibe. I'm getting an abusive vibe and, or an abusive power even, and I just feel like you need to start seeing things from a completely different perspective. Why is the Two of Swords here? Two of Swords is about making a choice. I did say I feel like there is a third party here. The Two of Swords, okay, is, you know, trying to keep your blindfold on and acting like you don't even see the situation all while you are gossiping with your friends about it and I do genuinely feel like there is and I think I got gossip for you guys last week so keep uh, not everybody's your friend I just want to let you know that with the devil here I'm going to tell you right now, not everybody's your friend. So you need to be careful who you're telling what to, because I think that, you know, somebody here could definitely end up telling your secrets and they could just slip up on accident. I do see Freudian slips for some reason. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I definitely am where it's like, oh shit, I wasn't supposed to say that, was I? So, you know, keep that in the back of your mind. I do want to say that I feel like it's time that you leave somebody out in the cold. I feel like no matter how many apologize, uh, apologies this person brings to you, it's just nothing there anymore. And I feel like it's something that you've been going over and over and over with. And I do feel like you've been in limbo with this for a very long time. Why is the star here? Five of Swords, King, uh, Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor. It's time for you to take back control of your life. It's time for you to be willing to go on this journey and put down the burden you know no more I feel like it's time for you to really look at your own finances I feel like you're banking off of somebody else's finances when spirit is saying don't worry about it we've got you we've got you taken care of you know I think you're more worried about what you're going to lose instead of what you're going to gain. You're going to gain your freedom. That's what Aquarius season is all about. And that's what the star is, is Aquarius. And we just had the new moon in Aquarius. And we have all this energy in Aquarius. So it's talking about the revolution. It's talking about breaking free. It's talking about being rebellious. It's time for you to open up your eyes and start seeing what it is that you need to be doing. Uh, two of one. Yeah. Okay. So this the sun is... You know, clarified by, and the sun is the yes card. So once you make a decision because you've gained the wisdom, the opportunity of a brand new beginning is going to be here, okay? So I do feel like for some of you, you definitely need to reach out and speak with a mentor. Uh, you know, the hermit is a mentor. It, it could be a Virgo. Uh, you could be talking to, hi guys, I'm a Virgo. So if you're interested in a reading, you know where to contact me. All my information is in the description box because you are going to need one. This person is going to go ahead and bring out and highlight what it is you need to do in order to be able to manifest your brand new beginnings okay so i want to go ahead and pull from the rebel unicorn deck because well it's just straight to the point and that's how i like to be all right not here to candy coat anything for anyone so with that said you got a card and it says 
you are being shady. There it is. Uh, watch out. Shit could get ugly. So if you're being shady, I'm going to be honest with you, or you're dealing with some sh shady person, uh, you better watch out because this is not some game you want to be playing because the universe, when the universe is involved with Saturn square Uranus, anything is possible. And if you're being shady, it's going to come out. Or if you're dealing with somebody shady, uh, it's going to come out. So either way, whether you like it or not, here it comes. So with with that said, Spirit, please show me any advice, any relationship advice for uh, whoever Capricorn is dealing with. All right. We've got Treasure Island. Okay. And it's the number nine. So it's about perseverance. Again, it's connected to the Hermit card. Okay. Which is all about wisdom and gaining wisdom from the past. Number nine. Um... You guys did get the number nine in reverse, so I'm going to go ahead and read the protection message. It says, poverty, consciousness, and a sense of not enough cast a shadow on your path. These ideas and core beliefs come along, come with a high cost. Do you really want to proclaim yourself as a victim of disappointment and failed expectations? Are you avoiding success because you will grow so tall that others will want to cut you down? Or is it possible that you're caught in a fear that you will lose what you have acquired so you hold on so tight that you miss the opportunities to expand? You are challenged to change the way you see the world and move from a perception of limitations to a perception of abundance. Take a risk for you have nothing to lose except for your confinement in a prison of your own making. Open the door and find the abundance waiting for you to claim it. And that's what happens when you stay in a relationship longer past its expiration date because you're sitting there going, oh my God, you know, if I walk away, what about the money? What about the money? Okay, here Capricorn, I'm going to be honest with you. Here's you. You are the devil in the tarot. And that rules materialism. It rules sex. It rules what are you willing to sell your soul to the devil for? Get out of these relationships and start living your life to the best that you can because the only person that is holding you back is you Capricorn all right spirit please show me and again what where's your value system you know what do you value more you know are you willing to you know hold on to this but while getting shit beat out of you I mean that's I don't condone that for nobody I've been in those shoes and that's a shitty place to be you know and my mom actually told me to shut my mouth and deal with it because he makes money <laughs> I was like the fuck no, but you also have to understand my mom is now 88 years old. So she was also born at a time where you just don't do anything about it. You shut your mouth and you deal with it. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. I cannot make this shit up. Express your our new love. You do have somebody else. I do feel like somebody else was introduced to you, but you're not willing to let go of your ex in order for you to be able to, you know, expand in the relationships that the universe is trying to bring to you. It's like, you know, quit playing, you know, devil's advocate here and going back and forth. It's like you could have an amazing life. That's what the sun is. The overall energy is trying to tell you if you are willing to walk away from the devil. Look, you know what I'm seeing here? Look at this. You guys. Guys, look at this look at this do you see the the, the correlation between the two <sighs> woe is me you know like the victim you're not a victim unless somebody's got you bound and gagged in the basement you're never stuck you can always get up and walk away at any point in time and for some of you you already know that there's somebody waiting for you in the future uh if you're willing to walk away from this relationship but you have to walk away from third-party relationships if you guys are bound with one another you're not going to be able to bring in the happy, healthy, loving bond that the universe is trying to extend to you, the happiness. But you got to get back to being happy all on your own without, um, you know, the expectations of other people on you. Who are you without all of these other um, things that supposedly you're supposed to define you anyway Capricorn I love you guys very much I hope you guys heed this warning it's time for you to let go of what no longer serves you so the universe can bless you with the amazing beautiful things that are coming in anyway I love you guys very much and we will chat again next week take care